Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, working with you to make your game nights better. Today, what I'm going to be doing is cracking open a new-to-me board game. It is a copy of Point Salad from AEG. No, I know it's not the new hotness. You know what? I've been hearing really good things about this game and I kept meaning to pick it up. And I finally found a copy at a little corner bookstore in Campbellford, Ontario, which is north of Toronto, and had a really good price. So I finally took the plunge and picked up a copy of this. Now, this is a card drafting game with many, many different ways to score. The back of every card in this has a different way to score. And you are drafting the cards and trying to collect the fruit and trying to collect, or sorry, fruit, fruit and veggies, things for the salad to match what you're going to score. Sounds like a fascinating game. I do dig the pun. Um, I am a Stefan Feld fan, so I'm already a fan of Point Salads. Let's see if I'm a fan of this one. But first, I got to crack open the box to see what you get. Now, before I go, I will say this is age 14 plus, which has got to be for regulation reasons and not for any gameplay reasons. I don't even think the ability to read is required to play this. game. Now, it may be a little complicated for younger kids, but I don't think you had to be 14 to play this. Now, it does say gameplay 15 to 30 minutes, and it plays two to six players, which is a nice range. I will probably be playing this first at two, but I do plan to try it at six. Now, this does come from AEG, and as I mentioned, I bought this one with my own money. All right, here we have my new copy of Point Salad, and one of the things I got to note right away is I love this. Look at that nice little bit there, so you don't have the usual hard-to-open box problems. Nice touch. So this one comes from Alderic Entertainment Group, or AEG. We're starting off with the instructions, which are sized with the box, not surprised at all there. Oh, thick card. Very thick. Uh, showing off the components, which is a bunch of cards. Literally, that's what you get. 108 cards and a rule book. So it's probably going to be a really quick unboxing. Here's how to set up the game. Here's how to play the game. Here's how the turn ends. Here's the scoring. And then that's it. You are looking at, says, seven pages. But like skipping the component overview, you're looking at one, two, three, four pages on how to play. Doesn't even need a reference sheet. Guess what? Cards. What I dig is I have a feeling AEG knows there's more coming. I love seeing the board games that come with room for expansion content. That's a bonus. Now, I will admit some people out there are probably going to complain about the amount of error in this box. But as soon as that first expansion comes out, it's going to be awesome to be able to put the cards in here with that. So we're going to take a look at these cards quickly. And honestly, there's not a lot to see here. Very clear, easy to read cards. Color coded with images as well. Like, not a lot to see, right? We got lettuce, carrots, cabbage. Tomatoes. Peppers. Onions. That's it. Now, the fascinating part to me is that every single one of these cards is also a scoring card. And here where we get it. So this one is if you're the player with the most carrots, you get 10 points. And I like this design touch. That shows what card it is on the other side. You'll note fewest carrots, 7 points. 2 points per carrot. I am not going to go through all of these. 5 points for missing veggie type in your salad. Uh, 1 point per carrot. And I think that's, I can't remember if that was peppers. <laughs> I think those, and that's not peppers. What is the green stuff? Lettuce. There you go. Lettuce. Carrots and so on. Not a lot to show off here. You just have, you know, if you have an even number of peppers, seven points, odd number three. I, it's effective. That's, that's probably the best I can see. Maybe this could be a little bigger. Like they tried to fit it all in the bowl graphic. It looks great there. But you know what? That's Even that's easy to read. And of course, this, the other deck. Same thing, right? That's it. Now, when you start, you're only going to use a certain number of these cards every game based on the player count, so that's going to add variability to it. But that's it. Not a lot to learn. Um, what I'm actually looking forward to, I noted I picked this up in Campbellford, Ontario, is the next time we go up there, teaching this game to my aunt and uncle, because I think this is going to be nice and light. This is going to be a good gateway game and a game that g gamers are going to dig, as well as non-gamers. So nice and quick. Not a lot to see, but you know what? That's fine. That's everything you get in Point Salad. Uh, you've got six different veggies and a uh, hundred different ways to score points. Over a hundred different ways to score points. Really cool. And one way to score point per card in this game. I do dig the fact that it's got a nice plastic box insert with room for just as many cards again. 
Uh, pretty standard board game box size. I do the little cutouts here. I love the effectiveness of the cards. Bright, colorful, and easy to read um, with very clear iconography. I'm looking forward to trying this. Again, I think this is going to be a great gateway game that's also going to be popular with gamers. Something that I always love to add to my collection games like that. So that's it for my look at my new copy of Point Salad. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Now, I'm mainly here to answer your gaming and game night questions. Today's question was, what's in this box, right? We've already done that. But if you've got a question for me, let me help you make your game nights better by sending that question to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Or you can head over to tabletopbellhop.com and click on Ask the Bellhop, or hit me up on social media as I can be found everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop. One word. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for joining me for this video. Good night and game on.